So core form, summer 2011, question one. And this is a great start. You can have four marks for just doing this. So what we're going to do with it? What can you do with it, Jack? Stealth quadratic on the top. Stealth quadratic on the top. So what, what can we do with the top line? Does it factorise? Does it factorise? If it had said t squared minus 10t plus 9, what would it have factorised to? So it's x squared take 9, x squared take 1. Okay. Now if we're all about factorising these things, you want to factorise the bottom as well. Um, this is great, isn't it? This is just you know, core 1, factorising quadratics. What's that first one factorise as? Minus three. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that one. Let's oh. do the bottom line, yeah. Um, you go right X plus one, X minus three. Yeah. And the second function? What is it? X plus minus X plus three. X plus five times X plus three. Um, as, as Harry said a moment ago, the top line then factorises further because it's difference of two squares. So once we've got all of that done, we've got x plus 3x minus 3, and then that would be x plus 1, x minus 1, and then down here we've got x plus 1, x minus 3, x plus 5, x plus 3. If we have common factors on the top and bottom, we can cancel them. So we get rid of the x minus 3s. Sorry, the x plus 1s and the x plus 3 there and we are left with at the end of all of that with x minus 1 over x plus 5 and, uh, and that will be it that's quite nice for marks isn't it you have to hope that you get that and get a nice good start to it. Great. Thanks, Adam.